In this video, I'm going to explain what the dreaded Emacs pinky is, and also how you can avoid it by remapping caps lock to control on your keyboard. The keyboard in the image shown has the standard PC layout for its keys. Although the keyboard shown is American, and other keyboard types may have slight variations, in general, most PC keyboards are very similar to this one. The caps lock key is placed to the left of the letter A, and there are also two control keys, but most people find themselves using the control key on the bottom left as their default. In this image you can see the common layout for an Apple keyboard. Just like the PC keyboard, there are two control keys, and just like the PC keyboard, most people find themselves using the control key to the bottom left as their default. Emacs uses control as a modifier key a lot. Once you are proficient with Emacs, you will find yourself using it all the time, whether it is to navigate around or to cut and paste. If you are using the default Emacs key bindings, you just cannot get away from using the control key. The finger used by most people to press the control key is the pinky finger, and the control key which is usually pressed is at the bottom left of the keyboard. The problem is that most people bend their pinky finger slightly whilst they hold down the key. Sometimes you even put your wrist at a weird angle. And that is fine if you're just starting to interact with keyboards, but if you continue to do that, after a while you'll begin to suffer from repetitive strain injury in your pinky finger. This problem of developing RSI in your pinky finger is so common with Emacs users, it has been given its own name, the dreaded Emacs pinky. This problem is not actually limited to Emacs. I remember, quite a few years ago, spending around 16 hours a day, for many weeks, writing documents using Word to meet some of my deadlines. When you are doing a lot of copying and pasting in Word, like I was, you will find yourself using the control key a lot. I developed RSI issues and it began to be painful to type. It got to a point where it was actually very painful. But because I had deadlines I had to meet, I just worked through the pain. After that, I had to take around three weeks off from typing completely for the pain to go away. The pain can be scary, especially if you rely on your ability to type for your income. The way I have managed to avoid suffering from RSI related issues with my pinky finger again is to remap the caps lock key to be another control key. Now when I press the control key, although I still use my pinky finger, it does not bend and my wrist does not need to be at an awkward angle. The remapping of caps lock to control is a very common thing to do for Emacs users. Since remapping the caps lock key on my keyboard to be another control key, I have worked many 16 hour days where I am typing the majority of the time, and luckily I have not developed any RSI issues again. Before I actually made the decision to remap the caps lock key, I was a bit hesitant, but when I actually thought about it I realised that I don't even use the caps lock key. If I need to type a capital letter, I usually just hold down shift and that letter. If you are worried that you still may need the functionality of the caps lock key, you can just swap the caps lock and control key so that the caps lock functionality is still available to you. The way to remap keyboard keys on Windows is to change your Windows registry. Don't worry, this is an easy process. I've already created the registry entries and you just need to download the relevant one, open it up and grant it access to make the change. Head on over to the GitHub page for the LIGA Learn Emacs course. The direct link to the page will be in the video description. It may look slightly different in the future, but there should be a directory called Remapping Caps Lock. Click the directory and you will see three files. Caps Lock to Control.reg. This file contains the relevant registry entry to map the Caps Lock key to be another control key. Use this if you don't mind losing the functionality of the Caps Lock key. This is the one I use. The second file, remove custom keymappings.reg, removes any custom key mapping so that your keyboard goes back to its default. The third file, swap caps lock and left control.reg, swaps the caps lock key with the left control key. That way, if you do need the functionality of the caps lock key, it will still be available to you when you press the left control key. For this video, I'm going to choose the first option. You can choose whichever one you want. You need to click the file and then click the RAW button. 
Once here, you can right click the page and choose to save as. Make sure that you change the type to all files, otherwise it will get saved as a text file and won't work. Once you have saved the file, you just need to open it and then grant it permission to make changes to your registry. Anytime you run one of these files, you will need to restart Windows for it to take effect. Once restarted, you can open any program on the computer and Caps Lock will then be treated like Control. Compared to Windows, remapping the Caps Lock key is very simple on a Mac. You just need to click on System Preferences, from there click on Keyboard, and then make sure the Keyboard tab is pressed, and click Modifier Keys. On the Modifier Keys prompt, you can choose to remap any modifier key to suit your own preference. Here, I'm just going to choose to remap Caps Lock to be another Control key. You may need to restart your computer for changes to take effect, but it's pretty much as simple as that. There you have it. You now understand what the dreaded Emacs pinky is and how you can easily avoid it. Although you don't need to remap your caps lock to be another control key to use Emacs, I definitely would recommend it. By doing this one tiny thing, you're saving yourself from suffering from Emacs pinky issues in the future.